the first part and rewrote it to incorporate our characters. Okay. And uh, and then the rest of it is just the, the time warp from the movie. So okay then. Fun. All right. Well, did that... you get the uh, did you get your images done? Yeah, it's it's as simple as it's gonna be. Don't... Yeah, trying to pin that on me, buddy. <laughs> like I had the extra work. Ah, uh-uh, I got the screen caps. <laughs> Right, right, right. Hold on, hold on. Okay, I'll go in and start playing the music and then we'll go we'll go into the show proper. So Okay, hold on. Okay, anything else you need to say or no? Uh, I'm just a sweet transvestite. <laughs> okay it. then. Alright, then I will mute us and we will okay. be back. Okay. Okay, he muted himself. All right, gentlemen, we'll be starting pretty soon. Let me just go and play this music. Jake Tanaka got high with a brain that couldn't die. And Jack Hobson's Mary Bell. Crimson Weirdo was there in bright red underwear. His roommate's a badass Cyberman. Then something went wrong for Mick Crutchen and his dog. It got caught in an isolating band. Ooh, my ball! And in his great disgrace was deemed a real nutcase. And this is how the description ran. Rapping chumas, live swing feature, Dr. Horny. I'm so horny. Caught under the bleachers. At the late night, rap and show my live stream show. It's astounding. Time is fleeting. Madness takes its toll. But listen closely. Not for very much longer. I've got to keep control. Just a jump to the left. And then a step to the right. With your hands on your hips. You bring your knees in front. Let us fill the cup. And bring it down and say, let's do the time on the end. Let's do the time on the end. It's a dream. Free me so you can't see me. No, not at all. In another dimension with voyeuristic intention. Well secluded, I see all. With a bit of a mind flip, you're into the time slip, and nothing can ever be the same. I start on sensation Like you're under sedation
the left. Put your hands on your hips. Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to Castle Freakastai with your. Host. I can't, Raf. I can't stop. I'm doing the pelvic thrust. I can't stop. I've been caught in a time warp. Oh, oh, no. oh, 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 thrust oh, the oh, pelvis. Oh, thrust the pelvis. Oh, thrust His the crotch pelvis. is out of control. <laughs> My God, what has crotch science done tonight? <laughs> Don't dream it. Be it. Don't dream it. Be it. So, ah. so, <laughs> See, uh, that's uh, you. You graduate from the hokey pokey and their simple directions to this, which is like you know, col college level uh, mm -hmm. complexity in in its moves. Um. Anyhow, hi. Hello. How you doing? I'm doing okay on this Halloween Eve. Halloween. Um, Halloween. Do we have to call it Halloween? It's hard enough for I, me to speak English as it is. <laughs> well, no Halloween. Okay, I think it sounds easier than Halloween Eve, you know, Halloween. Halloween. Okay. All yeah. Hallows Eve. Yeah, and unfortunately you were you ran out of grenades and um oil a long time ago, so we have we can't And unfortunately you ran out of common sense, and so that's why we're here. <laughs> All right. Anyways, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to our secondary Halloween live stream for the month, the Rocky Horror live stream picture show where we will hopefully <laughs> watch the Rocky Horror Picture Show and you will join in with us. But uh, currently, our third host, Laura Fitkin, um, she says she has audio issues. So we'll try to keep oh. the pre-show brief, but we'll keep it long enough for her and possibly an emergency guest to come aboard as well. <laughs> now, I was going to ask you since, um, yeah, I had a lot of things to do, so we're kind of, this is kind of semi-last minute should I try to get win here or just let, let it let it be? Since I know Mark will be joining us pretty soon. I, I don't bother win on a night like this. Okay, yeah, she's <laughs> too busy trying to kill Vampire Hunter D with her witch powers. That's that's it. Yes. Yeah. My God, that little witch mutant did look almost a little bit like <laughs> Monster Win, huh? I mean, if you want to draw these comparisons, I don't want to. I don't want to call anybody out here. And then um, the Loch Ness Monster looks like you because it's long. <laughs> yeah, and then you look like my ass, pal. <laughs> no, I like yeah, the thing. I'm like, full of it. I'm like uh, Boris Karloff's character in The Raven. Am I beautiful? <laughs> Just look in the mirror, you big stupid dumb dumb. Oh, no. What have you done? Is that your board? That may be more embarrassing than the Tim Curry impression if that's seriously your Boris Karloff. The <laughs> oh, oh. Have you seen the Raven? You don't remember the Raven. We had like a I love the Raven. Yeah, it's it's like, you know, oh, uh, wait a minute. The who's down in who? <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, hold on. I can get it right. Whoa, there, that's better. Oh, yeah, yeah. Let me readjust my throat. Okay. A long time ago, there was mummy. <laughs> no wonder Lagosi hated you. <laughs> that bastard can give they think my... I have the funny accent. Listen to this, fucker. <laughs> they said my face had possibilities. <laughs> and finally, I'm turning into Edwin. <laughs> <laughs> I love to laugh. Dad, you're ruining my life. <laughs> Okay, so we oh, got yeah, Kenan win. Yes, yes, we got uh, Goji Shea in the chat. He is is Raph still kicking and screaming? If so, tell him the clue can be next Twitch watch. Maybe that'll get him to calm down. And hey, then uh, Ziza draws. Hey Ziza draws. He says ready to go. Do the time warp. Yes. Well, like I said, <laughs> my pelvis. <laughs> oh my god! Oh, oh. This is how Elvis truly died. He didn't die on the toilet because of drugs. <laughs> that was a cover up. He exploded doing the pelvic thrust in infinite. Yeah, yeah. Ugh. Tonight on the Elvis Files, I saw Elvis doing the pelvic thrust in a Denny's in Montana. <laughs> 
was Elvis truly here at a Denny's, or was everybody in this Denny too doped up on Mephifor? <laughs> was it just a bunch of fat guys with sideburns <laughs> thrusting at the sight of pancakes? And did, back in 1967, Elvis battled the giant bushy rosed Amazonian rose spider while filming his movie, Check It Out, I'm a Physicist and I Drive a Car. And will my paycheck clear? <laughs> By the way, there was this... Somebody, I, I forgot who, and I'm not going to go into my history right now and try to rediscover the link. You forgot who? All of Doctor Who? That's all you have to offer. Yeah, there, there's, you know, there's um a guy. And he has a, yeah. He's, he, he lives inside a telephone box and he gets thrown he in space. He has a giant robot monkey. Yes. Oh, wait, we got, we got our, thir we got our, we got our uh, third <laughs> guest. We got our third. Third wheel. Yes. Hawaja. <laughs> How you doing? Hello, hello, ja. hello, Margaret. Welcome to Raph, the spooky, raunchy horror Stop live stream. It. Stop. <laughs> spray bottle. Fall? Spray bottle. <laughs> Sorry, Mark. Yeah, a, yeah, we're trying to do really shits. terrible impressions of Boris Karloff. So <laughs> it was an impression. Yes. Yeah, I yeah. Can say that it, sure. it wasn't an impression. Impressive impression, but uh, I mean, no. okay. It qualified so as an impression. Yes. Yeah, so we're waiting for Laura. She says she has some audio issues. So if she can, if she mm. arrives, horror. Oh, horror. wait, no, that, that's bad. I because I, I was trying to make a horror pun, but it's not like I was calling her a horror. Not my intention. Not my intention. <laughs> it's nice to know I'm not the only one who has horrible <laughs> crippling anxiety. <laughs> Horrible, crippling uh, word slips. <laughs> slips of the tongue. Okay, so yeah, we'll be watching Rocky Horror Picture Show in about 30 minutes from now. But yeah, we're going to do a bit of a pre-show. So if you guys in the chat section have questions for me, Brayton, and Marky Mark Mark, come, come forth and let them be known. So, I got a question, actually. Yes, what's your question? Uh, have you ever seen Rocky Horror Live? Ah, oh, damn it. Okay, first I've, off, I've seen the movie me... in an audience. Yeah, don't call I'm, me. The yeah, that's what I mean. Guy. Okay. Right. Yeah. In a theater where people are making noise and throwing toilet paper and stuff. No, I've I've only mm -hmm. seen it either on VHS or television airings. Mm. Okay. Oh. Well, what about you, Mr. Brayton? Yeah. What about you, Bruce? What was no, yeah, Rocky, I, uh, I've seen it. Your Rocky I've seen it live experience. in a little uh in a little like independent film scene. -y. Thing we have up here in Iowa City or up in Iowa City um, which it was fun I mean it was very small scale obviously I am in the middle of nowhere but uh, my biggest regret and I guess we should get this out of the way I'm not the hugest fan of the movie version of this uh, it kind of falls into <gasps> a similar thing with <laughs> well no a lot of people have a problem with musicals where gosh i wish they could just you know it feels like to them that the musical numbers interrupt like the story and people are annoyed by that i'm kind the of the opposite with stupid. this i love i i mean no no disagreement but i love the music and the songs from this film i just don't think it makes the transition all that well and i would have loved to have seen it uh performed live the original stage you know weirdo version of it with you know, right. put together with five dollars or five pounds, five British pounds. Um, but I don't know. I might change my mind again. I've warmed up to it as the years have progressed. But uh, I do love the songs. The cast, of course, is impeccable. And uh, its state of importance for all of us weirdos and misfits cannot be uh, overstated. You know, it's a it's a cult classic. But, you know, keyword being classic. Yeah. Rocky Horror is kind of like a rite of passage. That's my opinion. <laughs> You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. It's, like, it's mm -hmm. sort of like nerd necessity. Yep. Like, if you're a nerd, you have to watch Star Trek. You have to watch it's, it's, Rocky it's part of your badge. <laughs> yeah, you have to have you all have those little pins on your shoulder. You know. So, uh, yeah, you've never seen it, Raph? Yeah. One of these days, we ought to go see it. So No, I've seen the movie. I'm not, I'm not very... I know, like live is what I mean. Like, mm. yeah. I mean live. He's talking about <laughs> live. Uh, it's a different experience. I don't want to wear the, gold um, audience underwear. audience participation... <laughs> You know something? I think you gotta dress so, up. That's what you gotta. The first time I saw it was, um, I think, there were too many people, you know, and it it kind of ruined it because yeah. it was all loud, and people wouldn't shut up, mm -hmm. and like, yeah, and there was just no sort of cohesion in the theater, 
You know, like certain parts show up and you're all supposed to say things and you're supposed to throw hot dogs or whatever, yeah. blah, 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 toilet paper, blah, blah. Yeah. And the thing is, when I, I saw it and there, you know, it was packed. It was just everybody was doing everything. And it was it was just like basically a crowd of people like screaming through the entire thing. There wasn't mm -hmm. any kind of like, you know, except when the time warp came on, then everybody got up and danced. Yes. <laughs> right. <laughs> and then it was just that, more screaming, more life. screaming. <laughs> And then if you, you know, choose the to sit down, game, you'll have a bunch of down. butts in your face. <laughs> I can't so see the screen. Fun. I don't like it. It was fun, but I, I wouldn't mind seeing it with like people that were a little more cohesive. You know what I mean? And like actually <laughs> yeah. knew what or the less chaotic was. environment. Yeah, exactly. Do they exactly. do they even air the movie mm -hmm. on a week night, or does it always have to be a weekend? Because maybe that's the it's secret. usually Saturday night. Okay, okay. There's the unfortunate. When thing. yeah, when people are off yeah. work. And I know there's a there's like a place in Santa Monica I think that has been running it for like forty years or something every Saturday night. I can't remember the name of the theater. Okay, something like that. So it's definitely playing in Los Angeles. I if think you, if you ever want to go see it, no, I think I know the theater you're live. talking about because that's the same one my uh, cousin Natalia took me to go see the Triplets of Belleville when that was given a limited theatrical release. Hmm. It's like a really nice indoor theatrical theater. But it's so close yeah. to the docks that if you tried walking there at night, you'd probably get stabbed by a hobo or something. Or a pirate. <laughs> right. We have those pirate hobos down in, in Santa Monica, you know. I should do an impression of a yeah. pirate hobo. <clears throat> yes, I'm a pirate hobo. And I have yeah. my snickersnee. <laughs> Got uh, Captain Jack methamphetamine and all that. You know, just... And I'm tweaking. <laughs> Tweak beard. <laughs> there you go. Hey, we missed. Uh, where'd he go? Oh, there he is. There I am. Sorry, closing tabs again. Accidentally All shut right. this one. Okay, that's okay. Tweak beard. I'm I'm using that one. Tweak beard. Uh, I'm making a character of that. Tweak okay. Beard. All right. By all means. No, but you got to dress up, Raph, if you go. <sighs> See, I I didn't I didn't yeah, fully dress up, but I did characters. wear I did wear uh, eyeshadow and stuff when I when I went. So I I make up up. Well, what do they do dress up you like? You... Brad. There you go. No, wear a sweater gonna... vest and I. <laughs> You know. Yeah, but then everyone's going to be calling me an asshole. <laughs> <laughs> or no, I told meatloaf. You're 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 perfect meatloaf biker material. No, I don't oh, want to be meatloaf. <laughs> I do yeah, anything for love, but I'm not going to do that. <laughs> I won't do that. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I do anything for love. The original singer who did the role like of the a bat out of hell. <laughs> okay, and here Meatloaf comes always or... had like the best album covers. It's like mm -hmm. I think what was it, Bat Out of Hell? It's like him on a motorcycle, like driving through hell mm -hmm. and like fighting Satan or something like that. Oh like, yeah, especially the album to his one oh, children's big deal. album. Yeah, we're the most metal, like just so like metal, you know. Yeah, no, I especially love Meatloaf's uh, children's album, I Sing Song for Kitties, where he's like rescuing two hamsters from the gaping mall of Cthulhu. <laughs> <laughs> Someone has joined us. Yes, and speaking of rescuing hamsters from the gaping mall of Cthulhu, our very own Columbia is here. Laura, what introduce happened? yourself. I'm Laura. I'm here. My dogs are barking. Nice. Hey, she's uh she's the only one who watches night. That's all you need to know. Yeah. So it's just gonna be the four of us. She's uh, is our number one fan. Yes. <laughs> I still gotta share that wonderful photo you took of Shiza just watching the, the television screen with <laughs> night on it. Glamorous. Yes. Yeah. Okay, so I think this is only gonna I think this will be the last the only four of us tonight. But right now we're just having some pre show. Well, that's usually more than most of most nights. Yes. <laughs> Right, and uh, Gojisha asks, are you going to go by the name Riff Raff tonight, Raff? Might as well. <laughs> it's too good of a pun. Would it be Raff Riff? Wouldn't it be Raff? Would you just spin it around? Raff, Raff Riff? Riff. <laughs> huh. Okay. Yeah, I guess you can call Riff me Raff. Riff Raff Paddywhack? Give a dog yeah. a bone? Right. So what do they do to you if you don't go to a uh, Rocky Horror Picture Show live showing with without costumes? You know, they don't throw no, they don't do anything. They murder you and eat you. They murder you. 
<laughs> they don't, in fact, it's all voluntary, Raph. Nobody's going to come and assault you if you don't participate. You mm. can actually just sit there and do nothing. Okay. <laughs> I will. <laughs> they're I not going to, like, drag you out and curb stomp you. This guy didn't, you know, like, no, they're not going to. Just want to make you sure. Got the words wrong. Get them. You know. No. Just don't sure tell them it's your first time. Yeah. Oh yeah. 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 And then they come. He didn't dry throw no hot you. dogs. <laughs> They're not gonna snipe you with a hot dog so you fall down the stairs. Okay. They're not gonna do that. Okay. I thought it was rice. Are you? <laughs> make, are you making the whole thing up? <laughs> oh no. Oh, there's, there's multiple things. I think the, the one time I went there was the no. Place, he was like, representing. Rep- rep- huh? Oh, I was. I was rep- Oh, go ahead, go ahead. Sorry. I'll just, you just go. No, no, no. I was asking. I thought they threw rice at people, not hot dogs. Somebody go somewhere. Yeah, so you get like a, I don't know, the times that I went, you get like a kit. I throw things at you. Yeah. You should just get a wrath kit. Like every time you show up, be like, I brought the shit to get to throw you. Yeah. But like, I think when I went, there was like rice, hot dogs, newspaper, a squirt gun. What Mm. else was there? Like a bell. Toilet paper. Yeah, toilet paper. I feel like there's. There's more. That poor theater screen. <laughs> oh yeah, there was garbage the everywhere. Poor janitors. Is awesome. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Usually the people that like run the show are the ones that have to clean it up. <laughs> <laughs> they bury their own graves. Yes. Nanny whom. So with that says, my non virgin friends, <laughs> what was your first experience <laughs> watching the Rocky Horror Picture Show? <laughs> <laughs> watching it or just not going to yeah it? what was you, okay yeah what was your first experience watching your first time watching the oh, horror geez. picture show regardless uh i can't even remember it was in high school i no. think and uh i had two friends that didn't want to watch it um i can't remember why but i think it was just me watching it by myself because my little sister Mm-hmm. was like into acting so she actually went to a, an acting high school specifically to be an actress you know mm-hmm. um so they were always into like musicals and like andrew lloyd weber and stuff so i think she had the soundtrack on like cd and i uh so that that's what's like my first exposed to it and i think i finally just got around to watching it one day because i was bored and my friends didn't want to watch it with me. I, I specifically remember that. I'm like, hey, let's watch this. And my friend Bobby was like, oh, it's lame. I'm like, what are you talking about? So I watched it alone. And I was like, this is the best thing ever. Like, what are you talking about? <laughs> so I think the very first time I saw the movie, um, I didn't actually see it live until I was like, you know, 35. I mean, it was <laughs> years and years later. I went with, um, it was actually before I got married. I went with... Uh, friend of mine in santa monica mm-hmm. and like i said it was just really chaotic you know but i've seen it a couple of times since then and some a few theaters where it was actually a little more like cohesive and it, it's actually fun when people in the audience are like synced together you know mm-hmm. rather than just everybody screaming like when they're actually like picking up on the cues and doing all of this stuff that you're supposed to do like it was actually way more fun that way so okay laura what was your first experience watching this movie uh i was i was 13 and it was in the movie theater and i went oh, with wow. my my friend and her dad and then when we were there it was like a full theater and then the person that was rocky was my my brother's like six years older than i am it was mm-hmm. his best friend so i just like was traumatized because my brother's best friend is just running around in his underwear and i was like oh my god that's jonathan and then i looked and then my brother was there too and i'm like why are you here too and so <laughs> that was my first time i've seen it like six times in the theater and i've probably seen it like hundreds of times off the dvd nice awesome and brayton was your first time <laughs> I really can't say the first time I watched the movie. I, I remember a time in my life before Rocky Horror Picture Show because I would like be going through the store or something and either see a t-shirt or a poster or just the DVD with a glorious man in drag splayed on top of a lip couch and be like, <laughs> oh, what the fuck is that? When I was like, you know, six years old or whatever. Mm-hmm. Um, and then 
I don't remember because I know we, my dad, or because he's the movie connoisseur, he must have had it at some point when we watched it. But I really don't like. I can't remember, and that's sort of sad for me. Um, but it honestly didn't leave a big impression on me at a very young age. It's really only when I started getting more into, you know, the actors involved and musicals and things going, you know, and, and just general weirdness as my life progressed that I became more and more entrenched with it. And uh, kind of like I said at the top, the more times I've seen it, the more I've warmed to it. Um, I've always loved the music. And, you know, Richard O'Brien has done several other movies that uh, he's got a very distinct style that's very poppy and electrified. And uh, I like his shit. Uh, <laughs> look at... Uh, and the return of Captain Invincible, where Christopher Lee sings about alcoholism, for an example of his other work. Um, but uh, no, I've always loved the the score. You know, Tim Curry, of course, is a gem. Even at this age, he could probably still pull it off in his current condition, mm -hmm. uh, and that'd be great. He was a part of. I will say this though, too, because that just reminded me of something. Um, I have seen the several other takes on Rocky Horror Picture Show that at least television has produced, and they've all been atrocious. There was one uh, on Glee. I've mentioned in the past I was a Gleek mm. uh, and uh, not very good. Yeah. And then was it was it ABC? Is it ABC who did ABC those several did live uh, plays live? Yeah, yeah. yeah. No, and I, that I wasn't too was, good either. But Tim I thought Curry it was 20th was, Century yeah. Fox doing the live what? version. No, it was actually... on ABC. It was on the channel. Whoever ABC. did it. Okay, yeah. Because I know one of them actually got yeah. Tim Curry to play the, the crime expert. The, aka the narrator that's what i was about to say okay and i've never seen the i forget the title of the the, the pseudo sequel to this shock um, treatment. i have not uh, seen shock that. treatment yeah. i haven't seen it that's, either but right. i heard yeah. it was kind of yeah. lackluster mm -hmm. yeah it's the uh, it leaves more to be uh, said yeah raf you've seen that right uh, raf has seen everything yeah. <laughs> yes they used Raph's to had shock treatment yes yeah. <laughs> he and woke up he's like you aren't the people from the first movie yes yeah. <laughs> Yeah, this is I, not my beautiful house. Yeah. This is my beautiful wife. <laughs> <laughs> no, but you have though, right? Yes, I have seen shock yeah. treatment. I, Weirdly, I just assumed you had. Yeah, <laughs> because you guys you're don't a know. Raph, weirdo, Raph's Raph. DVD collection is beyond I'm, it's comprehension. Not, it's you guys not that know. impressive. It's mostly just monster, giant monster it, movies. So. It like requires its own zip code. Dude. No, it doesn't. Just have like boxes and boxes. I'll do a video. It's like, People will be very unimpressed. It's like, how many yeah. copies of um, Daimajin do you have, boy? Yeah. You got to do that. Because they do, people do those like, yeah. uh, here's my DVD collection. And one by here's one, they shit. pull out of, out of the box. You got to do His DVD collection like is like Hello. demanding voting Welcome rights. Welcome to Don't come out of my house. <laughs> oh, it's like protesting for equal treatment and stuff. Here's like, my friend Brayton. <laughs> Hello. Hi, Brayton. Now we're going to go through my DVD collection. And Brian from <laughs> Look at all this coming. porn I have. <laughs> Lady Lizards. Oh. <laughs> yeah. No, the weird thing about shock treatment is they used to air it almost like three times a week on the Fox movie channel uh, when they were starting to run out of that's movies a, to show. That's excessive. Yeah. Yeah. And I don't know why, but it always air like in the afternoon at least three times a week. And sadly, the Fox movie channel started out pretty strong it was a cable network where they would air a wide variety of movies produced by 20th century fox but for some weird reason i don't know if this was 20th century fox itself or weird co-production deals with almost every movie they ever made but they started whittling down their their not their movie library but the amount of the variety of movies they could show so there was a time where it was nothing but shock treatment um fantastic <coughs> voyage and Battle for the Planet of the Apes being played in almost, almost, almost on a loop for an entire week, and it's like those three specifically. Yeah, just those three specific <laughs> movies, and I think the Fox Movie Channel is now dead, unfortunately, which sucks because I don't know. But then again, 20th Century Fox has never been good about archiving its movies. Yeah, well, it all belongs to Disney now, right? Yeah. Okay. Here's the thing: all this and madness was happening before, well, before Disney stepped in and gobbled it up. Right. Right. Just so they can get their sweet, their hands on Hugh Jackman's sweet behind. <laughs> so wait, does that mean that Disney owns Rocky Horror now? And Family of the Paradise. So those are two movies that are going to be going mm. to the vault any moment now. So Doctor Frankenfurter is like a Disney princess. Yes. Like, like, if no, I were to, like, dress up as him at Disneyland, they'd kick me out. Yeah, no, wait, they no, technically you know, he's no a mad scientist from another planet, so I don't think he has royalty in his uh, blood. Uh, Unless okay. I'm mistaken. 
I don't know. <laughs> uh, I mean, he's like it's just kind of funny. Of people on Frank, uh, on the on the planet. So maybe he's like the prince of that planet. Hmm. I mean, he was in charge of the other two. Oh yeah, that's right. That's true. Yes. Yeah, so I don't really know the lore so much. You know. Yeah. When do we return to Transylvania? Like, I'm I'm not really. I don't know. I know that there was like a prequel comic book and stuff, but I've Mm. never actually investigated any of that. Okay. And Gojiche asks, how difficult will it be to try and keep your Tim Curry RAF impressions to a minimum? What's happening here? Uh, Or is there no hope for that? You know, I don't think Tim Curry will be joining us tonight. Like I said, him and the... His version of Kilo Khan and Pumpkin Rapper has run off together. They're happily married somewhere in Fiji. So. Wait, did Tim Curry do a Power Ranger voice? No, but he did. <laughs> he didn't? No, oh. but he was in Supreme and Samurai Cyber Squad as Kilo Khan. Oh, he was? Yeah. Saying, so, no yeah, idea. so he has voiced at least one kaiju character. <laughs> he must have needed the money. No, I think Deke was desperate for a big name star in their crummy Power Ranger ripoff, so most of the money went yeah. to Tim Curry. And I would also I explain, think he yeah he must have needed to pay rent that month and <laughs> decided to do it. <laughs> Sorry, I mean Samurai. What was it? Samurai Squad. Samurai Superhuman Samurai. Superhuman Samurai Squad. I, no, I mean, Sam- I, I know from, I'm familiar with the series. I've only watched like one episode of it but i'm just saying like you know he's he's kind of an actor of some caliber i mean he's like the villain throughout the whole show he's mm-hmm. like the the main dude so i mean it's not like he just showed up for one day and left <laughs> yeah, yeah. i don't know man um and, so, and sadly he's one thinking of the few... he was behind some payments on his like you know <laughs> mansion or whatever you guys got any work for me what the hell is this like <laughs> I don't know. No, 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 Mark. It, it's more like this. Do you people have any jobs for me today? Oh, you want me I mean, to wasn't voice he like an Oscar winner? Funny looking little Japanese monster. He's so sexy, this purple. I'll do like, it. Like, wasn't he like a, you know, Shakespearean <sighs> actor kind of thing? Yeah, Brayton, you know Tim Curry personally. Yeah, he's not here. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, he got it. Yeah, for some reason, yeah, Brayton keeps disappearing on us. Like, Tim Curry was... I mean, Tim Curry just wasn't some hack, you know. He's... Well, he's still alive, right? Yes, but unfortunately he had a stroke yeah. a couple of years ago. So he's oh. hanging in there, but not not the, not the same level as before. Which is uh, another reason I'm not much in the mood to do a Tim Curry impression tonight. Even though when I just did He's not going to be one. doing any dancing, is what you're saying. Yeah, right, right. Bro, Mark... <laughs> Well, no, I mean, I understand. Sorry, I'm not making fun of him. I'm just saying. Yeah. <laughs> you know. Professionalism, folks. Ah, he's back. Hello. Are you okay? Is your I'm, getting, I'm getting some very bad legs. So I tried getting out and coming back in again. You should put them in stockings. Thanks. <laughs> Thank you for the suggestion. Get you beautiful it? bastard. Lag? Yeah. Okay. I understand the damn joke. <laughs> just because it's not funny doesn't mean we didn't get it. <laughs> it sunk in. It just stunk. Yeah. yeah. Stunk in. <laughs> you it wanted this, like buddy. Yeah. But no, uh, what were what were you talking about before I... I think they were Tim trying Curry. to build up Tim Curry as some sort of great Shakespearean actor. <laughs> but he really isn't. I don't know. Was he? No. I don't know. I was always under no, the impression the, that he was like the he real. He was in deal. great, great things, but no, you know? the the academy isn't that cool. No, like yeah, I always yeah. thought he was sort of like Patrick Stewart, like you know, kind of a like, oh, okay. all this shit is like kind of beneath him. But I'm this sure is like Tim the only Curry place would love that success. comparison. Mm. Can you, you know name I mean? another like, movie other than Clue that he's in? Yes, not every English actor. I don't know. I mean, I don't. I don't he I don't okay. He was in Legend. <laughs> Yeah. He was, of Legend. course, in there It. Uh, he was and in Home in Alone 2. Okay. He, he's in The Hunt Home for Red two. October. He's in Home Alone 2. He's in numerous things. Mm. Fern Gully. Okay. Where he's the voice of an evil thing. Yeah. I see that I have greatly <laughs> overestimated Tim Curry's career. <laughs> he was in Muppets Treasures Island. I've yet to see that one. So I, I thought, I just for some reason thought he was in like 
you know, shit like Henry V and like, <laughs> you know what I mean? And like, twelve night. Like, that, uh, you know, Jack that's Black what they watch in England, game. right? They watch Shakespeare and stuff like that. I mean, <laughs> oh wait, wait a minute, wait a minute. He, he was in the. What was he playing in the Brutal Legend video game, Laura? He was. Where'd he go? Uh, da da Vicolus da V D O V I C U L U S da Vicolus. Okay. <laughs> Is that, that's the name of his character? Yep. Okay. <laughs> I right. played that when it came out. That's about all I remember. Yes. Oh. Now, now, to be fair, though, I think Tim Curry is To one be of the... fair, if, uh, and I'm going to steal that phrase tonight, uh, Tim oh, Curry oh. is someone who's far more of like, he would be notarized by the, uh, you know, the, the Tony audience. He, he, he yeah. did a lot of live stage performance. Yeah, no, that's uh, so what Mark's, I was going to get you know, at. Comparison yeah. of being like a Patrick Stewart Shakespearean type isn't entirely off. He was a huge thespian. Uh, but, uh, right. yeah, his work on the screen is far less, you know, uh, uh, maybe acclaimed than, uh, just his general personality and his appearances on the stage and just his, he's got a big, he's got a big, you know, uh, he's a beautiful eccentricity about him. I had no idea, but okay, yeah, that's good. To, that's right. Yeah. Yeah. No, I, so, I just assumed that he was an actor of some esteem. Like I just heard the accent <laughs> like that man. It was like Peter. slumming it doing these, these like mini projects. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. I don't know. Why, have you ever done the stage and also voice a Power Ranger villain while making out oh, with Patrick it, Stewart, you son of a bitch? <laughs> no. There you have it. No talk to me again. Rocky! <laughs> okay. Yeah, no, according to his Wikipedia... I think he won a Grammy or some sort of uh, thing of that uh, nature that, uh, because he did an audiobook for, what was it, the, a series of unfortunate events, and that mm. got like some critics and uh, 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 awards yeah. for that. Yeah, but no, it's on YouTube. You can find it. It's, it's very good. Yeah, no, I just want to mm. say, yeah, no, his stage career started as early as 1968, and it lasted all the way up to 2012, um, because I think he had his stroke like roughly somewhere just before 2014. Um, and yeah, uh, his movie right, right. roles, his movie roles are fairly scant. His big screen roles are very scant compared to his stage and television appearances. But during the 80s, he was like a major character actor, although unfortunately, and this is just me being theori uh, theoretical, or coming up with theory, I should say, um, it was the 80s, so they didn't exactly treat British actors right. So yeah, he would appear in very memorable villain roles, but there wasn't much to it after that. <laughs> um, and of course, television, he's all over the place. And this, and this Wikipedia page is only touching upon like a handful of his television uh, credits. So... But yeah, there's so many, so much voice acting. Yes, a lot of. Oh, here's his voice roles. Okay, yeah, it's a, it's a way bigger listing. So, all right, so yeah, I'm not even gonna read some of his voice acting roles. So, thank you. <laughs> well, we want to get this uh, show on the road. <laughs> okay. Like <laughs> We're gonna start at eight thirty, right? Eight forty one right now. Damn. You got places to be or something? <laughs> no, I'm just saying, you know. Yeah, so. yeah, yeah. Usually we take like two hours to get to the movie, so might as well get to the movie. <laughs> so <laughs> I mean yeah. preamble the preamble. <laughs> All right, so ladies and gentlemen, uh if you don't have your copies of the Rocky Hour Picture Show ready in the uh description of this very video you will see a link that we temporarily uploaded the movie itself on uh, the Internet Archive, which uh, we, we uh, Brayton has kind of... Brayton has pleasantly set up for us. Um, and I'm guessing you guys don't have your copies of the movies right away, so I'm just going to do a share screen, but I'll keep it very low volume. Of course, we're not going to play it live on YouTube for obvious reasons, because, you know... YouTube. And you're sure this isn't going to uh, affect YouTube in any way, Raph, where they strike this down with great power and furious vengeance? Good idea, Brayton. I'm going to completely mute it, but as far as a yeah. visual indicator, yeah, you guys will be able to see what's going on at the same time. And I think we've <clears throat> we've all seen this movie so many times that we really don't need to hear it, correct? <laughs> oh, yeah, we don't need to hear 90% of what you come to the movie for, the music. Oh, yeah, a musical silent great one! <laughs> um maybe you could just make it really quiet 
Yeah, that's what I was going to do, <laughs> Mark. I mean, not Great like, idea, pal! Not yeah. like silent, but you know what I'm saying. I like how we just repeated what you had said earlier, but he made it his Come idea. on! Which, which <laughs> one? Lighten up, Francis! <laughs> Laura, so far you're the only one I like here. <laughs> so we'll see. Okay. <laughs> So, wait, before we begin, though, let me check the comment section. Uh, ready to do the time warp? Oh, yeah, I reread that. Sorry, Ziza draws. We're taking a while to get to the time warp. <laughs> and Goji Shea says, ah, oh, there's one, in reference to my Tim Curry impressions. Always wanted to try Brutal Legend. And then he says there's two. So, I, so yeah, you get two. That's all you're getting tonight. So, <laughs> you know, I'm surprised you don't do Tim Curry impressions, Brayton. I do, t I do Tim Curry's impressions. I just don't want to outshine you. Okay. <laughs> we'll do something. Give the audience, like, a better impression. That or, you know, you'll be our designated... Follow the Carl. link in the description, babies. It takes 3.5 <laughs> seconds to get all set up. There's a two Tim Curry's here. <laughs> what are we going to do, everyone? <laughs> There's no choice. We have to make out Tim Curry, too. Get over here. <laughs> No, Don't no, lick no. my face, not the face. I have no choice. Licky, licky, licky. Positively smashing. This truly was a legend. <laughs> Satisfied? Alone in New York, yes. <laughs> <laughs> Finally, that. <laughs> Please stop touching me. You're you're groping me, and it's making me uh, feel things. <laughs> what are you? Who are you talking to, Brayton? <laughs> uh, the other Tim Curry in the room. All right, yeah. Tim Curry, stop that. Merk, merk, brick ball. He's like attached to me, like a like a catfish or a suck. You no, know, one of those sucker fish on the side of a tank. <laughs> <laughs> and he's only he's only like twelve inches long too, so he's like wiggling like a weird little fish creature get on the side off, of his shoulder. Get it off! Get it off! Quickly, everyone, grab grab his little butler feet and pull him off at the count of three. One, two, three. Whoop! <laughs> Yoink! I'll be back! <laughs> okay, so, uh, Doomzilla has joined us. Sorry I'm late. I'm a bit under the weather. <laughs> oh, yeah, welcome to the club, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> welcome to the party, pal! <laughs> <laughs> okay, so, yeah, I'll, I'll put it on the low, on the low enough volume, so I think... Who burped? Jesus. <laughs> oh, sorry. That was me. We we That's decided so not to bring wind fun. tonight. What's going on? <laughs> Filling in. I will uh, stop burping in the future. Sorry. All right. You know, I'm surprised we. No, I won't say. It's too mean spirited. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Are we ready to watch the Rocky Hole picture show tonight? Yeah, whatever. Yes. This, yeah. Okay. So, new world record, we started at the 45-minute mark. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, since I am doing a share screen, but for those of you, like I said, go to the description. We put a link <laughs> at archive.org, so I'll give you at least uh, three minutes to get ready. And, We've been uh, leaving you with anticipation. Oh. <laughs> I can't believe this is happening. <laughs> I'm sorry, I can't do it right. Okay. Maybe the brain. Great, Scott. Yeah. <laughs> But when I end up on hell of a lover. Okay. Indeed. There'll be plenty of time for singing as this goes on. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. Knowing you, you're going to sing out loud. You missed your karaoke, man. I mean, if you don't want me to, I won't. Yeah. Actually, I can I should... totally, I'll totally sing. We'll, we'll let you sing, Raph, and no, see how that goes. No, no. You sing. Because every time I try to <laughs> sing, you just immediately take it away from me. Because I'm like... trying to help. I'm your backup. <laughs> no, you're I'm your not. backup singer. Yeah. <laughs> no, no. I can imagine. I'm, I'm I'll like, sing. I don't care. I'm like the little clown on stage. Trying, My little buddy. Yeah, girl. because when you just come out we... as this giant 12-foot jester and, like, push me off the side. My little body cop. Yes! <laughs> Yeah, because when you sing, you get things like, I'm on a boat, 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 sexy jellyfish on a boat. <laughs> and that's taken the world by storm, hasn't it? Yes, it has. <laughs> okay, hold on. Yeah, maybe I should bring out a song sheet for everybody to join along. <laughs> okay. Songs and On the good ship, lollipop. What's that about? Why would you do that, Brayton? Sorry. 
Okay. This came out, man. All right, there we go. Rockymusic.org, lyrics, Rocky Horror. Hold on, I'll share that in the chat. Everybody the knows the lyrics, lyrics already. What are you, an amateur? God. Hey, there's... I don't one... know the lyrics. <laughs> Douchebag. And if you don't, just make them up. Who cares? <laughs> yeah, but when I make them up, Brayton comes in and takes away the music. <laughs> I'm on here. I love it. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, and let me share the video link again so everybody will be on the sage, same page. So until yeah. then, uh, do you guys have any plans for Halloween tomorrow? Uh, giving away candy. Yeah, but when I make them up, break. Mm-hmm. Killing away some babysitters. Doing that. Mm. Doing that. Why would you kill yeah. babysitters again, Brayton? I want. I want my own franchise. Okay. I want a new <laughs> job. You know. <laughs> Yeah, your version of Mike Myers is, just, is Michael Myers. <laughs> no, my, yeah, my version of Michael Myers yeah. is Cat in the Hat. Michael Myers. Oh yeah, yeah. No, I can. Yeah. No, I can imagine. Um, your version would just be you dressed up completely in the right costume, but it's just your face with like white makeup, and you're trying to keep mute the whole time. <laughs> Ref, I don't need the white makeup. Have you seen my complexion? <laughs> oh my god! Can you drive a car though? No. <laughs> oh, okay. There's a big problem there. There's a hurdle. Yeah. yeah. Michael Myers is going to have to walk all the way there. How the hell does Michael Myers get a driver's license anyway? That's Somebody something. taught him, the son of a bitch. That's unrealistic. They put your foot on the clutch. <laughs> I knew they that have it was a bad idea to give asylum. Michael Myers his driving lessons at the crazy asylum, which also doubles as a DMV. <laughs> God damn it, why doesn't anyone ever listen to me? (laughs) Uh, Look, there's Ben Tramer, completely dressed out of costume. Kill him! (laughs) This is the Rocky Horror Improv Show. Laura's doing a live stream tomorrow. Oh, yeah. Yeah, Are you doing it, too? No, we weren't invited. (laughs) Andres did invite me for creating his little title card thing, which you can find on his Facebook, but I I don't know if I'm going to be able to. (laughs) Whoa! (laughs) (laughs) Not uh, you, towards yeah, other people. See. So, oh, yeah, I you me a, didn't you call you called me a braytard? Oh yeah, that's right. Sorry about that. Oh, I thought there was the R. Oh, I thought yeah, he, I, I thought, thought he I heard something else there, but yeah, yeah. I was like, wow. Yeah. <laughs> right. Raph doesn't didn't he like you, me no more. You, yeah, but didn't he give you like a lot of shit about not being on top of editing your uh, his podcast or something last night? Last time we y'all did gave it? me a bunch of that shit. that was me giving him shit because he told me to. Yeah. Okay. I like shit. Brayton said he wanted some help being accountable, so I gave him some shit. That's mm. right. Laura's standing over me dressed as a nun with a ruler. Yeah. <laughs> kidding me. Slap. <laughs> Slap. Ow. 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 Okay. All right. This is a weird night. Oh, and I got a new subscriber. <laughs> he continues. Who? I'm at 800. Neil Barlett. <laughs> Oh, I thought, I thought it was Twonky. I thought it was Twonky fan four five seven. I really love Twonky. Six hours ago, it was a man named Tito Rick. Ten hours ago, Carmelo Spazaza. You're gonna have an army by sunrise. Sixteen hours ago, <laughs> the Fonz. Hey. One day, Bob Lapilo. Okay. I like to saying people's actual names. <laughs> why would they hey, call? Congrats, them? Ref. Wait, why would they call themselves such bizarre internet names as Carmelo Pizzazza? <laughs> What's okay. up with that? All right. Yeah, some of these subscribers. Yeah, for some weird reason, I keep getting new subscribers like almost hourly. There's got to be like some weird evil Russian thing going on here. They, uh, yeah, they, they just don't know what they're in for. Yeah. It's, <laughs> they've <gotta be>. yeah <laughs> what? It, it must be conspiracy right theory. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I can't what? imagine that they've come for other. I don't yeah, know yeah, why they can't here. possibly like you or anything. Yeah, there's. And a, I don't mean that it's an insult. I just mean like they uh, do. They have do they watch our shows? No, f- no. Like I said, for some reason, my Twonky upload has blown up, and now everyone's like, like I got like, I don't know why, but it scares me because there's this <laughs> one. Mania sus- is running wild. Yeah, there's this. God one damn it! Sus- people quit subscribing. <laughs> yeah, there's this one subscriber just called Gardening is a Way of Life, and it's like, what the fuck does that <laughs> tell me about you? For all I know. <laughs> So they roam the galaxy with freedom and collection. It's like, yeah, some, yeah, it's like these are very creative Russian spammers. Maybe if you tell them to subscribe, they won't. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe you shouldn't insult your audience there, Raph. That's okay. They'll love me anyway. Welcome, so, everybody. Yeah. But no, seriously, if you're, if you're not some creepy, deaky spam bot 
from a foreign country that <laughs> wants to destroy every other foreign country. Welcome to my channel. Thank you very much for all the subscribers. I deeply appreciate it. So, and again, thanks, big thanks mm -hmm. to all the regulars in the audience. But we're going to start right now, since there's been plenty of time to prepare. Don't say anything. Okay, so here, okay, wait a minute. Okay, and I'll be reading comments as much as possible, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> now rest. I'll, I'll mute myself, sorry. Yeah, no, don't mute yourself, you're good. You can't hear that, right? Like, I'm, like, eating... Okay, here, I'll leave. Oh, no, no, it, it could be way worse. It could be, you know, me doing something as stupid as this. Ah, ah, I, think it's, I don't ah, want to be, uh, ah. I don't want to be chewing in everybody's ear here. You know, I mean, it's a right. straight Yeah, room, I so. wish I had some soda. I just open it. Ah, 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 ah. I hate that. <laughs> now to make popcorn at my little oven stove next to my computer. Ah, turn off the madness. <laughs> All right, ladies and gentlemen, here. All right, you got to get your links ready because I'm starting the show in three, two, one, play. You've seen all kinds of movies, but you've never seen anything like the Rocky Horror Picture Show. The Rocky Horror Picture Show is wonderfully weird. They're probably foreigners with ways different than our own. It's fabulously freaky. Yeah, yeah, it's a trip to transsexual Transylvania. Sweet the Rocky Horror Picture Show. From transsexual Transylvania. The story is strange. But tonight is the night that my beautiful picture The scenery is smashing. The cast is completely crazy. This isn't the Junior Chamber of Commerce, Brad. There's a mad scientist named Frank N. Furter. Come up to the lab and see what's on the slab. And Rocky, his incredible creature. I knew he was in with a bad crowd, but it was worse than I imagined. A sinister servant named Riff Raff. Brad and Janet. My name is Brad Majors. Just a couple of clean cut kids. This is my fiance, Janet Weiss. Eddie. Magenta. Columbia. Dr. Scott. Great Scott! So give yourself over to absolute pleasure. Don't See the Rocky Horror Picture Show. Okay. If it ain't the damn winged puppet serpent, it's the like. Loch Ness Dino movie. Oh, you're the, really the, gonna hate me after this. <laughs> oh, I oh I'm already there, pal. <laughs> uh, Darkness has conquered Brayton Connor. <laughs> Mark, thank you for singing. <laughs> uh, well, you know that's. Boo, 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 boo. It's over. Mm -hmm. Whenever I do karaoke, I like to do the um. Do you like to go full the tilt? Atlas, the Charles Atlas song, in there. Yes. Because everybody Rapplers expects time. the time warp, so you do something that no one ever sings, and it's mm -hmm. very, you know. I wasn't expecting Mark to be so, uh, yeah, just forthright with it. He was letting it all fly out. Mm -hmm. well, you know, I have to, man. No choice. Rocky Horror. Sell it. Okay. Yeah. Well, but, 
Well, we did Raph. it. Who did the thing? Y'all, are you on your webcam now? You sound very far away. It really? Sorry about that. Your no. microphone sounds very far away from you. Oh my goodness! Yeah. It did. It did sound better before, yeah. No. Oh. Well, it sounds good for the audience, so that's the important thing. So. God damn it! I mean, sure no problem. Right? <laughs> Uh, yeah, yeah I th- it sounds like you switched to your webcam mic. Mm, good. I mean, it's not like, you know, we can understand you and stuff. I'm just saying. <laughs> you can never no, understand. No, but I, it's Raph. just a noticeable difference. It's much more. It sounded way better before, if you care. Okay. For our concern. Oh, no, no. It's just a temporary <laughs> thing. So, But, yeah, guys, go ahead and talk amongst yourselves. Let's no, you talk. Let's do time warp again. Are we, we going to watch Phantom of the Paradise next? Is that the double feature of the night? No, we we can't. Oh, man. That, yeah, that you're would the, be great. Right, you're the host. Do you uh, have a I copy of Phantom of the another. Paradise? <laughs> this is a, a, it's a school night tonight. Laura, guys, Laura I'm sure, has a copy of Phantom of the Paradise. She can uh, bring it over to you. Okay. Well, anyways, ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much. Uh, we will stick around and take any final questions, but by all means, tell us what you thought of the movie in the, in the audience. And uh, what do you... Um, hold on. Hold on. Yeah. What do you guys think of Rocky Horror after revisiting it tonight? Us? Yes, you. Four. Uh, I like it. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I was always good. a fan. It's good. Awesome. You know... It does what it needs to do, and it's a hell of a ride, especially in the first 45 minutes. Indeed. Okay, so... Yeah, and in the really last see, 15 uh, minutes. Yeah. You don't really see a lot of movies quite like it, you know? Yeah, even attempts to try to do, like, scary no. horror musicals don't really exactly work out so well, do they? But, I mean, no. if you were to try to purposely write something like this, it would just fail horribly. It just kind of seems like you know what's his name o'brien sort of struck gold Mm -hmm. and which is kind of like in his subsequent attempts to like recreate it (laughs) and failing miserably like i mean even there it kind of shows like you know the iron struck once and like that's it you know what i mean like (laughs) seriously there's something about sometimes when everything comes together perfectly you can't recreate it no matter how hard you try Mm -hmm. and like no. It's sort of like There's it only purity happens to when it. you, yeah. It like it only happens like that when you ch- when you're not trying to do that. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. I don't know. You're an artist, yeah. Raph. You kind of know what I'm talking about. Like sometimes everything works together, and a piece comes out and it's like perfect. Yeah, and then yeah. You try yeah. to you try to recreate it, and it, you just never can. You know Hence, what I mean? Like, yeah, shock treatment would be a good example of that. Unfortunately, exactly. Didn't he try to write? Didn't he write another sort of musical horror thing after that? Like, or was it only Sock Treatment? Like, he's done several films, right? Yeah. yeah. Well, like I said, I mentioned uh, the return of Captain Invincible at the start of the show, but he didn't write the movie as much as just, uh, I think, mm-hmm. three songs in that. And they're yeah, the best I'm songs. Sure. So the guy obviously has that talent, but um, yeah, it's just. Uh, it's it, it's just a you know the, the first your first gift to the world is going to be coming from an absolutely pure place and you know unclouded by um you know the mm. just the the uh the aptitude you might have for trying to recreate something so I, I don't know yeah there's really no experience like this movie like um i've seen it equated you know in terms of just the camp cult musical oeuvre to things like phantom of the paradise and Little Shop of yeah. Horrors, and that's a hell of a triple feature. But they're they're each <laughs> uniquely separate, different experiences with their own feel. It just seems like a combination amazing. of those two. And uh, for yeah, sure, for yeah. sure, yeah. Mm-hmm. Just put them in a in a blender and create a wonderful smoothie. <laughs> um, but no, yeah, I, I like it. With each sub- subsequent viewing, I, I I enjoy it more and more as a film. Um, and uh, yeah, one day very soon, I'm sure it'll be absolutely fantastic for me. Mm-hmm. But uh, right now, I I think it's very good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no, it actually holds up pretty well. It's like I have more of a preference for *Frame of the Paradise*, but I do agree. Yeah, this is definitely a movie that was made at the right time at the right place, and it's amazing that it came and went, pun not intended, with very little fan. No, I did. Hey, yeah, <laughs> mm-hmm. yeah. That's why you had to tell mm-hmm. Mark to stop singing at one point. <laughs> 
Luckily, um, you did it right before your timer ran. Mark, please, I can't. <laughs> Mark, Sorry. you became the secret. I may uh, never rise again. Yes, you became yeah. the secret stud of tonight. What happened? That was supposed to be my job. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, just, you know, Rocky Horror does funny things to me, man. Mm -hmm. I can't control myself. <laughs> yes. But yeah, it's definitely a movie that mm -hmm. was, it, it's definitely one of the most unique movies ever made. All the circumstances, the way it works. Granted, I do kind of agree that the second act kind of, kind of is a little lacking of power, but you do bring up a good point after the first act. It's like, of course you can't compare it to what came before. Um, but yeah, no, very good movie. So, and yeah, we should definitely do a family of the paradise night, uh, sometime, which doesn't have to be Halloween, but this is definitely one of the great all time sexy Halloween movies for lack of a better term. <laughs> and Doomzilla says it was fun. As I you, don't, you don't you don't find Halloween two to be a sexy movie, Raph? No, no, it's just, it's just people. What about Ernest it. Scared Stupid? Oh, it's Jim oh, Varney. Totally. Of course, it's the sexiest movie ever made. That's incredibly sexy. What are you talking yeah. about? Dang. Hey, Vern, you want to yeah, see me that's, naked? That's not even a question, right there. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> POV. <laughs> yeah. Oh my God, yeah, but um, yeah. So, and Laura, you, what do you, what do you think of the movie after revisiting it? Um, I mean, the exact thing. I thought about it before. It wasn't... <laughs> She's a fan. It, it yeah. was not. It was not a groundbreaking experience. Thing I've seen it like hundreds of times. <laughs> okay. She's so... got the movie tattooed on her soul, Raph. What, what yeah. else can she tell you? It's mm -hmm. obvious. Okay, and uh, just to continue reading uh, Doomzilla's uh, comments, it, I'll be brutally honest. I am not a fan of musical films in general. <laughs> This barely made it in as one of the few exceptions. Why? Uh oh, you're putting Doomzilla on the spot. Can I put no? Can I? No, I, I'm. I'm just. I'm. I've. I've never got a satisfying answer, but I'm genuinely curious. Yeah, yeah, just, yeah. Let us know why you don't like uh, musicals, uh, Doomzilla. We'll be as diplomatic and as pleasant as possible, because I'm the host tonight, and I'll there's not that many understand. guests, so the peer pressure against me to be a horrible person is less there. <laughs> Unfortunately, guys, uh, there is somebody who. Has some words to say and I'm says, "Fuck <laughs> no! This is why he switched to the fucking webcam. He's gonna put us through this goddamn shit another year." <laughs> oh, good God Almighty! He's got look—he's got a fucking little slut and a stupid little puppet asshole. Shut up! God, silence. Damn it. Ref, you have a gun Ref, coming out of your You should armpit. turn this. You have the Rocky Horror thing is like overlapping everything. Uh huh. What about it? So you should. You should turn that off if you're gonna show like. Yeah, Raph, turn show your stupid little toys, <laughs> your little pixie doll here with his like... dumb little drawing of a gun. Like it's, I'm just saying it's it's blocking everything on, on your stream. Yeah, there you go. Okay, it's gone now. Okay, right. what's blocking my stream? Now you can see it. Okay. <laughs> see what? <laughs> Oh wait, no. Whatever yeah, the no. fuck this is. Okay. It looks like it looks like you're in Bin Laden's cave in like <laughs> 2000. Correct, the Halloween fat version. boy. <laughs> okay, gentlemen, I'm sorry, but Jack Hawkson secretly is my landlord, so he needs to take over the show for a little bit and talk to you and the audience and my co-hosts. Mr. Oh. Jack Hawkson, take it away. Thanks a lot, uh... you pervert, you freak. You fat weirdo! Where's my commission of me, two hundred feet tall, naked above the congressmen? No, you never paid me. I got a gun. Okay, so you guys decided to do so... a live stream about a mad scientist who creates a monster and didn't even bother asking me tonight. Yeah, because I'm gonna have suck. to call them a night here pretty soon, Raf. No, no, <laughs> run, no. Run, Mark, run. <laughs> I have a gun. I can shoot any of you, all right? But I want you to meet uh, my monster, one of my most horrific and terrifying zip. failures. <laughs> nope, nope, not my penis. I call that my first experiment. <laughs> Maybe you should write a musical, Mr. Hodgson. Yes. Yeah. Oh, yeah, no, you, you don't want me to write a musical. It's just going to be how awesome I am for 20 minutes because, you know, that's as long as I can last. Minutes. Okay, bud. Thanks for coming, Jack. No, it's no, no, time. no. Uh, yep. Do no. you have a light timer? Is it going to go off soon? <laughs> is that what's behind you? What? There is a red dot, or is that his thumb? Mm. What's the red dot? That that's a that's a freaking. It's uh... almost as if he was poorly drawn. <laughs> oh no, that's just a laser thing on my gun right now. 
But ladies oh, and gentlemen, why is it pointing gun. toward us if the gun is pointing the other way? <laughs> there you go. Is that better? Is that more 3D for you, Laura? <laughs> you look better that way. Thank you. <laughs> if you could just pull it 3D? down a little bit now. Who? Me? <clears throat> why do you have a ring pop? I still don't understand the ring pop. <laughs> No, it's yeah. just a red light on the gun, damn it! And yeah. like Brayton says, uh, I'm poorly drawn. It's like there's a there's a positioning problem here. If you could just lower him a little bit, yeah, just a little less of Tad. Lower, 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 lower. He's like at the top of the frame. Just really, just go low, 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 way lower than that. <laughs> the thumb on your oh, left wait a minute. hand. You're just saying that because you want me to suck your, your feet. Hand. Yeah. Okay. You got well, some AI hands. Yeah. <laughs> All mm -hmm. right. Shut up. I just want you to be my... You brought this on yourself, a piece of shit. Put the puppet away. <laughs> Are you talking to Raph or the you talking to Jack Hoxson? Because Jack Hoxson's here, baby. And you talk directly to the Hoxsonator. That's what I said to Brayton when I took over his shaman convention. Because he's a real big fan of Shaman King. Mm -hmm. Wait, what? Not the that manga was... series, the, the the series of toilet papers. Anyway, paper shredder, paper shredder, paper <laughs> shredder. Paper nope, shredder. I got duct tape, as you can <laughs> see like through the, the shadow, through the poorly placed light of my cardboard body. Would you like to meet the bottom of my shoe? <laughs> yeah, get over before, here, right? take an airplane trip, and see me in person, <laughs> fat man. <laughs> Yeah, Raf goes into these little bipolar. Okay, shut up, shut up, everybody. Just, okay, Jack Hoxson just wants you to introduce yeah. him. No, I'm not going to introduce myself. I'm going to introduce you all to my monstrous creation. A failure that has gotten away from me. A true Your case creator? of evil scientists. Yes. Okay, so. <laughs> hold on, he's coming. All right, time for you to come on board, boy. Hold on, I got to move the damn microphone. It hopefully won't affect the Oh, but I'm sure it'll be worth it. <laughs> all those subs you got this week are all, they're unsubbing now. You know. Yeah. Good. Jack yeah, Hoxson always makes a, things uh, worse. Deterrent. <laughs> okay, come out, boy. This is now some context. Back no. in the ninth, back when I was seventeen years old, I tried to take over the world with an army of Jack Hox and Supermen. I took, you know how that work out for you? Well, you're going to see in a moment, fatty. <laughs> so, I call everybody a fat. So, anyways, and unfortunately, this clone got away from me. You're, it you're was too independent. It was Thanks. too intelligent. Too sexy, too powerful. I hated him and I disowned him. But tonight, after five years of not seeing him again, I reconnect with my creation. Come out here, Gemini Jack Clone Number Zero 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 One, Experiment Four Four Three. I'm kind of fat. Hi, Dad. Hi, everybody's doing. <laughs> I'm Gemini Jack. I'm Jack Hoxson's uh, bigger, more super powerful clone. Um. Dad, I'm you doing really... pretty good. I lost like five pounds in the last month or so. No, oh, that's good to hear. I, I think because because I really ballooned up my senior year, but like over that summer, like uh, you know, intermittent fasting and running a lot, um, mm -hmm. it, it's it's difficult. So congratulations. Really? Well, yeah. unfortunately, I can't calories. lose weight. You see all this fat on my body. It's kind of like E Honda from uh, Street Fighter. It's mostly well, like no matter what method fat. you go through, the the point is to put yourself in a caloric de deficit. So you're consuming. Yeah. Or you're burning more than you consume, basically. So it's just a dietary sort of thing. That's the biggest part of it. Is That's it related to health problems? Yeah. Just curious. I'm actually honestly curious about uh, uh, Jack Hoxson's well, friends. Well, everybody, like, you know, the blood sugar uh -huh. levels and metab their metabolism is different. So, you know, it's there's no universal all. It's just a healthy thing in general. That Yeah. Uh, and you guys are natural born, more. too, mm -hmm. from a womb. I'm not like me. I was created in a womb tube, basically a big plastic container with water. Right, Dad? Remember that? Shut up. Should have stayed there. Yeah. What? I'm actually a pretty decent guy. In fact, I was thinking of giving you all uh, gift cards to my deli. It's uh, down in Manhattan Beach. It's a $100 gift card. I think it's the least you guys need because you've been held hostage by my dad here. Mm -hmm. Anyways, he as, you can, right now, yeah, as you can see, I came what from What kind of sandwich, deli. Mark? I don't know. Uh, what Pimento? kind of sandwiches you have there? Like... Oh, yeah, we got plenty. Uh, do you like uh, warm beef? I kind of have um, a turkey Greek sandwich. Yeah, Greek oh, type turkey. thing. Turkey. Uh, can I get a turkey sandwich with mm -hmm. uh, mayonnaise? Oh yeah, we got the mega turkey sandwich for only seven ninety nine. Uh, if you go the full twelve ninety nine, though, it also comes with a drink and unlimited oh, fountain drinks too. I don't mind doing that since. Just, so Are we one hundred percent sure that that other O in the word Coke is not C? Oh no no no! See, okay, it says go. kiss okay. the cook. Yeah, but Let's that's the it. problem. I'm so huge <laughs> and muscular. It's you know so hard to fit in this camera. Not like my dad here. He's so scrawny. So yeah, let me get a turkey sandwich on uh -huh. rye uh -huh. with uh, lettuce and tomatoes. 
you know, and do you have like avocado? Oh, yeah. Always, always avocado. In fact, whatever and, we don't uh, have in the uh, store itself, we have it in the back kitchen. I always what make sure. What kind of drinks because... you got back there? Oh, yeah. Uh, we're connected to, um, uh, we have Bart's Root Beer. Um, we got some 7-Up, Coca-Cola, Diet Cherry Coke. Um, Diet Cherry Coke. You have any like sugar free stuff besides Diet Coke? Because Diet Coke is nasty. Yeah. Mm. Oh, yeah. We have uh, some sparkling water. I only sell those for sparkling 50 cents. Just for the taste of it. Mm -hmm. Diet Coke. Oh, you got a wonderful singing voice, Brayton. It's very nice. Although, which one were you were singing throughout the entire night? I was very impressed by that. The one in the oh, middle. Boy, thank you. Oh, yeah. Thanks. Very nice. It was nice. Yeah, like you. potato chips or something. I don't know. I could be. Oh, yeah. I mean, I know potato it's like chips. Yeah, I got potato 11 chips. And... Okay, that's enough. Get out. You are a miserable excuse. Why do you have to be so damn nice? I love you. Get out. <laughs> <laughs> this is the worst Halloween ever. Raph, it's your uh, fault. Everything, everything okay over there? No, uh, I hate him. <laughs> gobble, gobble. God damn it! Uh, what an embarrassment. Have a I'm supposed to be pure evil, Sunday. and then that thing shows up. <laughs> now I want to show you one last clone I made of Dirty McCorruption. His name is Billy, and he's half fish. Come out, Billy. I mean, uh, you know, I know I don't want to get in between you yeah. and the sun. I'm just trying to say. Now, no, Billy really, here, smooth that over you, if you're gonna have a productive, you know, uh, uh, childhood I mean, and adulthood with and relationship with your son. I mean, if you're gonna be a dick to him like my that, my son's a loser. Did you see how yeah. unsexy he was compared to me? <laughs> All abuse is not physical, just so you know. It's Shut up, pretty... now, Billy. Now, Billy here is a boy who knows how to be evil. Isn't it right, Billy? Billy. What's that, Billy? <laughs> Billy. What the bloodlust? No! No! Billy, no! He's clearly saying to kill him. Are you getting that? That's what he's trying to say. He's clearly mm -hmm. saying, please kill me, which, you know. He I'm may sorry want to. about all this. I apologize greatly for my dad's uh, behavior. Oh, don't worry. We're sorry, too. Okay. Well, anyways, you yeah, I'll mail, I'll get your uh, information. I know Brayton likes to stay in his house and be unprotected by other people, so I'll be happy to send his gift card to Laura's house, and I'll I'll give you, Laura I'll give you three gift cards. That's three hundred dollars worth of deli, just because you know make up for this problem here. So, Mark, do you want me to send you two more? One for your wife, one for you. I kind of like just how nobody actually tuned out, like. All your viewers like stayed on and watched that whole thing. I, I applaud you guys. Oh, <laughs> they, they, well, thank you. They all have nowhere to go. <laughs> yeah, well, I guess I guess they really That's, do uh, like deli sandwiches. I mean, you know, <clears throat> I'm just saying. Hey, it's as if you don't have legs. <laughs> I noticed that, <laughs> but let's let, let's not focus on the negative there. So, or maybe I'm also a magician. Woo. <laughs> So do you guys like deliver or something? Because I could use a sandwich right no, now. No, no, no. It's just me and my wife, Belinda. I met her when I went to community college after Jack Hawkson hit me with a truck and left me dead in a gutter. Um, uh, I see. Yeah, yeah. But no, no. We can't do any delivery at the moment. Uh, we're thinking of hooking up with Grubhub, but I don't like how expensive Grubhub is. You know, especially when you yeah, just, fuck you know. Grubhub. Yeah, yeah, exactly. But no, you guys are Maybe more you guys welcome. ought to have like a father Sunday or something. I don't know. That kind of seemed a little... Mm. You know, no, seems no. like your relationship is a little strange. No, no, no. I'm, I'm, I'm good. I'm. Good. Have you, have you? He has a giant robot. That's that's. He a, threatened that's to kill not... you. I mean, that's usually not a good thing. Well, I'm, I'm technically atomic proof. Like you could drop an atomic bomb up my butt, and I'd still be okay. So you know, my clothes <laughs> would be gone, and it would just be my giant muscular semi E Honda style body. But you know, I'm practically immortal, invincible. If you could really do that, you could make a million bucks. Seriously, yeah, but you could like go on TV. <laughs> yeah, but have you and been just a blow yourself up I don't want to over over over. the land. That's terrible. I like no. nature. I love everybody. You guys are great. This has been a very nice night tonight. Anyways, I think well, I'm thank you. It. Yeah, I'm gonna head off. I'll let Raph have you to. Made me hungry. I mean, yeah, in real life. Raph's eating a tuna sandwich right now. I'll get him. So, but it was very nice meeting you. It was very nice meeting you, Laura. It was very nice meeting you, Mark. And it was very nice meeting you, Mister Brayton. And I'm happy to know my. How father... do you taste? Huh? How do you taste? <laughs> uh, there's lots of ways to answer so, that question. Sorry, me and my wife don't swing that way. I'm <laughs> <apologize>. <laughs> Yes. 
But I do want to yeah. say, Brayton, it's very nice that my father's lies about you turned out to be untrue. He said you were a small, sickly child from Belania. <clears throat> so I don't know what that means. Oh. So, yeah. Okay. Well, tell your father to uh, stick to it hell. up his ass. Okay. Yeah, that too. Okay, then. All right. All right. Bye. Go away! <laughs> Love you. <laughs> I'm Gemini Jack. <laughs> I'm nicer than, than my, my dad. Jackass. <laughs> yeah. Get. 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 Did this happened last Get. Halloween. <laughs> we got a. It's every year and hopes for another reaction, but all we he got gets like is a, just. <laughs> these impromptu puppet shows. Or... Yeah. I'm back. I'm a back. Halloween. I was just having one hell of a tuna sandwich, guys. It was awesome. It's like a. That Halloween was the worst thing day. since the last time you did that same thing. Yeah, but to the power of Gemini Jack, you were getting used to him. You know, I, I have to applaud. I mean, you stuck with it. <laughs> no, I wasn't like, here. I was know, too busy awful, eating a tuna as, sandwich. As awful, ridiculous, as awful, ridiculous, long-winded, uh, stupid, uncreative <laughs> as this always is, we have to admire your commitment to a bit, Raf. I mean, I would have dumped that shit like two minutes in. I mean, you stuck with it the whole way, so I got to say. Yeah. Oh, a boy. Abort, abort, abort. Okay, I don't mind you guys Congrats. criticizing me, but that nice Gemini, Gemini Jack clone, all right? Don't say anything bad about him, okay? I'm joking. It's all a joke, Raph. Okay. No, 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 no. You apologize to not, Gemini I'm Jack. Not being yeah. I'm not I don't even know anymore. What is going on? Okay. But yeah, let's check out the comments. I don't know. It, it's... it did kind of come out of left field. Blurring images and noises. Okay. Yeah, let's see what Doomzilla yeah. has to say. Should have stayed in the Okay. All right, Doomzilla says on the musical, some just don't hit as well for me. Some musical numbers just drag for me. And then Goji says, Brayton really doesn't like puppets for some reason. <laughs> and Laura Fitkin says, Doom, him. have you seen Repo the Genetic I hate opera? him, Jack. I hate him. That one is one of my favorites. And in Warrior Keen, oh, Warrior Keen, he says, hey, sorry I missed the show. Just want to drop in quick before bed and wish everybody a happy Halloween. Oh, thank you very much. Hmm. And then... Uh, Doomzilla says, no, Laura. Thank you. Sorry you had to see that. <laughs> Laura, uh, Doomzilla says, no, Laura, unfortunately, but I'm open to see it. And then Warrior King says, oh, my, paper puppets. Nice. <laughs> yeah, part... I, I haven't seen uh, Repo Genetic Opera, though. I have heard it was pretty good, though. It was very good. Mm -hmm. oh, yeah. Okay. I've right yet on. to see it, so that might be something for the future. You haven't seen it? No, I've never seen it. it. Yeah. It's, it's not like torture porn, is it? No, it's like an updated Rocky Horror Picture Show by the Saw director. <laughs> okay. Oh. Okay. All right. Yeah, you explained it well. So. You can pull up a song. We can watch one of the songs from it. Mm -hmm. I just had to sit through fucking puppets. Can you play me a song? No, no, no. No, no. Unfortunately, I've already done enough requests for the last uh, Halloween stream. So. Is it like gory? Yeah. Is it gory? No, I said a song. Um, it's like a. Or you pull the is there like blood and guts in it, or um, it it does, but it's it's like cartoonishly done. Oh, okay. Hmm. Right, right, right. Okay. Okay. All right. So Zyzaw Draw says uh, when Jack Hawks appears, man, this was my favorite anime from Paper Mario. And then Doomzilla says, "You think the gun is threatening? Quick, <laughs> clicks twin barrel shotguns with a chainsaw attached. Bring it on." Warrior says, "Nah, it's not as." It's not how you threaten a paper puppet pulls out a water gun. Oh, that's a smart idea. <laughs> um, it would be easier to burn it. Just burn it so it, it appears your audience is... You, why yeah, why did you burn uh, it on camera? Hmm? What was that? What did you say? You said, burn why didn't you burn it? Yeah, so you should have you should have burned it on camera. Yeah. No. What? I live here, <laughs> you idiots. <laughs> What are you guys talking about? They want me to burn, burn the house blood. down because they can't stand puppets. I got more puppets. I drew more than just Gemini Jack. You want me to be here all night? I'm threatening you with paper puppets. We have the power to leave. Yeah, I almost ha I, I almost finished a Brayton and Laura puppet. I was going to have you guys interact with Gemini Jack, but that's not going to work out. So I'm okay you should do that. that next time. Yeah. No. Yeah, you you were yeah. Just, you were both in hazmat suits. It was just an easy way to draw something quick and not be accurate. So. You should do that, but don't tell anybody ahead of time. 
Uh, I did that tonight, and it didn't work out. So, anyways, but anyways, you should just spring it. Be like, here, here's puppets for you guys, and like improv something. Okay, so <laughs> Goji Shea says, "Hey, Jack, Dexter's from lab- Dexter's laboratory called. He wants his science outfit back." And Warrior Keem sa- says, uh, "Gemini Jack seems friendlier than his gene donor." All right, and then uh, yeah, that's it. I think we'll stop there. So, any last things you want to say before the Halloween? Season is up <laughs> in two days. Uh, I'm tightening my noose. <laughs> um, I don't know. Stay safe, everybody. I guess. Don't eat the yellow snow. What? <laughs> <laughs> um, watch, watch those out for uh, the, uh, candy apples with razor blades, kids. Yeah. Watch out for the uh, the fentanyl uh, Halloween candy or whatever. Oh, yeah. and, According uh, to NSI, uh, fentanyl can turn you into a werewolf. Mm-hmm. Just one little and, touch uh, of it. Beware of vampires and, uh, you know, that kind of thing. Mm-hmm. And, don't uh, dream it, be it. Kids yes. out there, <laughs> don't listen to your parents. You know? And adults out there, quit your jobs. Don't go to work. <laughs> Just quit. Fuck them. Fuck them. Who cares? Quit. It's Halloween. You don't need them anyway. Mm-hmm. Don't pay your rent either. Fuck rent. Yeah. Let's leave. Do you have any words of wisdom to share, Mr. Brickson? Just, just stay at home. Just stay at home. Just play video games and masturbate all day. Yeah, just stay day. at Fuck home and, dr- and draw paper. Draw paper puppets and masturbate with the paper puppets and the no, video I, games. And, uh, and, uh, you know, that. You you have have puppets together? you'll have your weekends, <laughs> you know, play retro games. Just fuck out, just stay, you know, never get out. You, you, of don't, you don't want to leave them out. That's what you got to do. Just all you kids at home, just you know, stay inside, never go outside ever again, ever. And you'll have the perfect life. I guess at least when Raptor just get die. Up, moving. You know really? what do they call that? Hikigomori. That's totally that's my that's my retirement plan. Just gonna stay indoors. Just fuck it. <laughs> you know. That's all we got for you, folks. Comedy. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe I'll go trick or treating. Warrior King says we should do more puppets. <laughs> I'm like 47. Do you think like I could get away trick or treating? In the ghost costume, yes. What if I dressed up as like a cop or like an IRS guy or something? Oh, like, yeah, they'll give you money and guns. and Something that really... Like, what would actually scare someone in real life? Like, you know, I could dress up as like a Mormon. A, a, a rap <laughs> waving paper puppets in my face? Would, I could dress up as like a, a Scientology um, person. Like, trick-or-treat, some literature for Scientology. Kiss my paper feet. <laughs> <laughs> or a Harry Krishna or something like trick or treat. You take some literature. Let me get your address. We'll send this to you for the rest of your life. Oh, you could be like those people that like give up the things that look like money but isn't money. Like here's your <laughs> ten dollars like, for uh, God. Okay. Like, no. so... uh, I used to get those when I waited tables, oh, and no. it's like folded in half, so you think yeah. it's a real ten dollar bill or whatever, and then you open it and you're like, oh, you mother. Like, did they really do Doesn't that? Did it to just you? make it's... you want to convert to whatever religion they were? No, I never understood that. I the want real money. tip is Jesus. <laughs> Fuck yeah, uh, you know. <laughs> just like you son of a. Yeah, and this was back in the nineties. After you die, you... Jesus is gonna remember you stiffed me. Yeah, but <laughs> anyway. because Jesus would have tipped. Yeah, thank God most of those baby boomers yeah. are dead, and the younger generations oh. are less religious. <laughs> huh. End it now. <laughs> so, Brayton, actually, yeah, I think I do need to uh, yeah. call the night, guys. No, no, I, thank I, you I very much for showing up, Mark. So. Laura, thank you very much for joining Most us. Most people do. Raph, yes. I sent you a video to play us out. That's what I was getting to, Mark. Yeah. Thank you, Raph, I mean, for having me you, on. Everyone. You're welcome. Yeah. It was actually really fun. Yes, and, no, it was you know, fun to have really you here, and you movie. singing actually kind of helped this uh, stream a lot. So, yeah. Uh, <clears> Raph went quiet. I'm not sure. Yeah, he's trying to figure out how to do the video. Might Sorry about that. I forgot. Oh, I that what he is? Yeah. Yep. He's in the bathroom okay, pissing I all thought... his other dreams away. No, I'm back, you ass wife. <laughs> okay, so the whole time I was telling you to shut the hell up, you uh, you couldn't hear me. <laughs> no, we, we couldn't hear. 
you were. Oh here. wow! So that's why. Yeah, yeah. Okay. I thought you guys were just being assholes again. Sorry about that. But anyways, joking. No, no, no. Yeah, joking aside. No, Mark. Thank you very much for joining us at the last yeah. minute. Um, and also, your singing actually kind of helped the uh, stream quite a bit. You won't believe how. Oh. Okay. Well, thank you. You're welcome. So, Laura, despite me not wanting to, I'm not going to play the little song you shared. But at the same time, I'm deeply appreciative you came aboard tonight. It was a lot of. It's always fun to have you around. Yeah. Yeah, Brayton. What we're gonna watch? <laughs> That'll do. Okay. That'll do, Brayton. That'll do. <sighs> All right. All right, guys. I'm out of here. Adios. Adios. Okay. Mm-hmm. And let me say, uh, uh, Warrior King, thank you for showing up. Sorry, it was so late though. Uh, Doomzilla, thank you for enjoying it. Um, Ziza draws, always a pleasure to see you, as well as Goji Shay. So we're going to watch, uh, I don't know what we're going to watch, gentlemen. Oh, wait a minute. Amanda Plummer, science fiction double feature. Is this, uh, who's who's Amanda Plummer? Please. I sent you the video. It's all ready, ready to go. I got video. it ready to go. Okay. The big draw of this is Neil Gaiman on backup. All right. So any, okay. So before we call it quits, any last words from you two? I'll be on Andres' tomorrow. That's all I got. Okay, yeah. Go to Kaiju Noir's channel and you'll see more Laura. <laughs> so, and Bra- yeah. More Laura. All yes. The time. yes. And uh, Brayton, potentially. Who knows? Okay, so we'll cut. We'll end the night with this wonderful thing. Hopefully YouTube doesn't end it ahead of time. And like I said, thank you so much. It's been a fairly good October with you people. Um, despite the jokes I make, it's nice to have mm-hmm. friends and viewers and friendly viewers who come and say hello. So happy Halloween to all of you and God bless. God bless me. <laughs> <laughs>
Thank you.